What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, everything in this industry is, by the rumor, sell the news at this point. If there is a surprise, a real surprise, then it can cause a price pump. But generally speaking, when you have news, no matter how good or bad or indifferent that news may be, it will cause a buildup. Now, when I say that, why am I telling you that? Well, Luna Classic 3.1.3 was just launched, which is really designed to replenish the Oracle pool over time. We've made a change to the distribution of gas fees. So this is probably going to create uh, a better opportunity in the long term. But it was a news event. It was something that was thrown at you to say, hey, this is what's going on. And we got there. Once we got there, what happened? We had a little bit of a price decline. Now, it wasn't significant price decline. That's already happened when the market corrected. Uh, and, and by the way, really, when we go back and look at March, that was really an altcoin bubble. Uh, March, April, you know, that sort of range there was a, a real altcoin bubble and it popped. And now we build our way back up. And I'm going to show you the price structure, what it looks like. We're going to reset in a couple of days here. We're going to look at the charts in a different fashion because we've been pretty accurate on this channel for a long period of time, but we've never really been able to on a daily basis. We've done good, but we haven't uh, we haven't been doing great for the last couple of days because I do expect these reversals and, and you know things like that to happen. And I do think that something's going to happen over the next two days because the Fed in the United States is about to make an announcement. Will they cut rates? Most probably not immediately, but they will announce their intent to cut rates most likely in September if we continue on. Uh, I think they're going to take a more dovish approach because uh, not only is the Kamala Harris campaign now becoming more pro-crypto, but the general outline of the United States has been way more pro-crypto in the last 60 days than we've seen at any point previously. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. I'm going to keep you informed as best I can about what's going on and let's kick it off. All right. So the first thing up, the 3.1.3 launched and uh, the way this distribution is, is 80% goes to burn, 10% goes to the Oracle pool, 10% goes to the community pool. Now, uh, a lot of people out here were talking about this, and uh, surprisingly, some experts cautioned earlier, passing the proposal could lead to immediate price declines. Buy the rumor, sell the news. As highlighted in our earlier post, these experts cited a 0.5% annual drop in validators block rewards as a key issue. In the long run, supporters of the upgrade believe the shift might benefit the ecosystem, particularly in boosting staking, which is now at uh, 1.04 trillion tokens. So significant amount of the supply is currently being staked and rewards are being earned. Now, following the tax up, the burn tax upgrade, uh, we're awaiting the next one, which is tax to gas. Now, as you guys know, we talked about this yesterday. If you didn't watch, I suggest you go back and watch that now. But the tax to gas had what looks to be not necessarily a bug, However, it gives you an opportunity to burn whatever token you want to, as opposed to what really, in my opinion, or in most opinions, I would think, should be the target that Luna Classic or USTC are the required burn pieces. This integration eliminates the need for manual calculation for burn tax by DAP developers enhancing user experience. The community is debating a proposal to raise the burn tax to 1.2. And, and, and by the way, no update on that has not been put up for proposal. Don't know how everybody's voting yet, but as soon as we know, we'll keep you informed. So there are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy updates where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy Finance to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day. And Cryptonomy Community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin, 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million 
SHIB. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY. We're going to continue that. We're going to accept. All right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon. 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 Ether XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you got to stake with Cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out Cryptonomy.finance today. Uh, as for discussions and everything that goes uh, right here, there is the way the tax will work. Uh, and there is what native tokens to allow for use of tax discussion. So as you can see, this conversation is being held right now. So we have an idea uh, of exactly what people are thinking. There's only a couple of comments at this point. Now, uh, also no real interest over here in a 25th custom seed. You can see only three comments right here, but setting the on-chain on tax to 1.5, 41 comments. It continues. I encourage you to go to commonwealth.im, Terra Luna Classic uh, Lunk Discussions, and, and get yourself involved. Check it out. It hasn't been put up for a proposal yet, but when it does or if it does, then we will keep you informed. Let's look at price action real quick. I'm going to reset these charts pretty soon. Uh, and, and look, I've given you when things are going to, uh, when things have broken out, when they're going to break, stuff like that. It is my opinion, however, that I am set in what I believe to be this specific paradigm. And as you can see from this, there is this big move right here. And I'm telling you that I think that this big move is on the horizon. Now, that's going to be about a 3x from where we are right now. And how do I know that's going to happen? Well, I don't know that's going to happen. And that's the thing. When I look at this, I see it. And to me, it makes perfect sense. And there's a certain symmetry to it. And, and you know, charts and behavior likes symmetry. Now, more broadly, if you go and look at Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other major alt, then what you will notice is there's a breakout moment. There's a moment when it breaks out of a descending trend line, just almost standard for the course. And what we've seen is this, this, this over the last little while as our uh, the creation of this trend line. It has to be retested or it will be retested at some point. And, you know, to be fair, I mean, if, if you know, something crazy happens and it explodes, right, in price, well, then it's going to settle around this range. There's a symmetry to this. So... I think that we are going to have this move. Now, what I don't like to see is if you look at these RSIs, these RSIs are facing down. Now, what does that mean? Uh, broadly, it means that price action is on the decline. We haven't seen a reversal. Now, when you see the reversal, like right here, and you see that happen, then you see a push on price action. Right down here, we were at 407, and then all of a sudden this thing explodes, and the next thing you know, we're having this, this gigantic move. And then we had a secondary gigantic move. Now we're having this ex this extremely long consolidation. Here's where I, I was telling you guys, I think we need to, I'm going to reset on this chart, but it's this little area right here. If I, if I come down here and I kind of do this, and you'll notice that it, it's not perfect, but there is a symmetry in declining price action. Now, if there's a if there's a, a declining price action, then we probably have a problem. Um, now that is a consolidation number, and if you look at this even more, then you'll see that another descending sort of channel has kind of emerged, and we're at the top of that. Now, what does that mean to you or me? Well, you know, let me remove that right there and say that you know if all of this. By the way, I'm just drawing my way through an entire um, uh, an, an entire scenario here. But, I mean, look at this right here. This could be a consolidation inflection point where a breakout is imminent. But the fact that we broke down below this a couple of times, probably in zooming out here, is going to invalidate this line right here. Now, if that invalidates this line out uh, here, it hasn't invalidated this top, but that's not a great sign overall. In fact, 
in the event that we were to move this out, something like that. The pattern, in so much as there is or was a pattern, actually becomes a little more bullish because it's a descending wedge that's you know that's significant that's significant in that it should have a big breakout however in the event that we were to look at that and say well you know it's a descending wedge uh it's going to play out then you know you kind of have to look at you know what does this look like and you know you're talking about this thing playing out over years and i don't think that's going to be the case so we're going to stick with this for the moment and just kind of say here that you know i i think that we're in uh decent shape still i, I don't think that anything has fundamentally changed on uh, where we're going or how we're going to get there. It's just a matter of time at this point. So uh, now what would shape a positive price action? Well, uh, number one, Binance has got its next burn coming up in two days. So on the first, we're going to see that. And, you know, let's face it, Binance only burns BNB and Luna Classic. So that's something to be excited about. Also, while we're at it, Terra Casino just burned another million tokens. Terra Casino, did you say? Well, yes, I did. So uh, let's talk about Terra Casino. Uh, and in fact, just let me give you a list here of a few more tokens. Uh, not only do we use Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic, USDT, USDC, and Dogecoin, but you can also use Cardano, you can use Litecoin, you can use Tron, USDO, or XRP. There is an enormous amount of selection here that you can make. And by the way, when you come down here, you can see over here, you got uh, Sugar Rush, you got Millionaire, you got Aloha King, you got Dice, you got people over here winning and winning big uh, and, and leveling themselves up here. And you, you're on the sidelines just watching this video. So sign up at Terra Casino today and start uh, start playing some games. Sugar Rush 1000, absolutely killing the game. Uh, and uh, I think one of these here, I just was watching a little while ago, Moon Princess, uh, like numbered, uh, they're, they're up to level 20. Like some of these guys are at elite sort of levels. So, uh, and you get rewarded for that, by the way. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Also, check out Terraport uh, in order to do any kind of trading. Now, we talked about what was going on over here. Now, I've staked. I do have, uh, I unlock in about 24 hours for you know this claim it's a very small claim it's not it's not a large one or anything like that but the important part here was the launch pad now if you notice there is a uh, there there is a uh, a ranking and the question is what's going on with the ranking and why does the ranking continue to change well we got an update here from rocket and it says do you think the leaderboard was only related to the airdrop the most observant ones are wondering why rocket's points keep increasing even if the launch pad is finished it will not be a simple play to earn game one aspect that many people still don't understand is that everything on terraport will be perfectly interwoven like so many little puzzle pieces and when it's all complete many will say how did i not realize this before so so uh, does that mean that we have an answer to what's going on? Nope, not at all. We have no idea. However, um, <laughs> um, when, you, uh, when you evaluate and when you go check it out and when you see like here's your points right here and they're wondering why are we, we still continuing to accumulate, well, uh, I think the answer is pretty simple. If you continue to trade on it and you continue to do that, then that's probably where uh, that comes into play. So, uh, and guys, as you remember here, I, I, I think I should specify here, I did this for a 14-day period, so we're about to unlock right now, and we'll claim 28 more Terra. Um, not, it's not a significant amount, but we're going to upgrade this to a better percentage to give it a little bit more time in order to, to do that. And, you know, we're not going to get these big, robust numbers down here because that is completely sold out. Um, I'm going to be watching uh, to, to see if something opens up, but as of right now, it has not. However, these are significant yields for you to hold on to, and you hold on to this for two years, 100% gain on your Terra. And when the ecosystem is building, like Luna Classic is building, and uh, we just talked about 3.1.3, um, that's a good sign for the future. Now, uh, let's continue to move on. No proposals up on Long Dash or anything like that. Uh, no governance on station, nothing like that. A uh, little move on some of the meme coins. Nothing, nothing, nothing's really starting a breakout other than you know you've got these 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 wild pairings over here with the large uh, pumps, etc. But price action, uh, eighty three thirty two. Uh, we're down two percent on the day. Volume down seventeen percent. Uh, 
USTC down to 5.7 million, 109 uh, million market cap. Uh, and you know, what do you what do you see when you see the volume like this? Well, it's it's actually very very simple. Uh, you know, this market this market right now likes new and shiny. And you know, most of these 90% of all meme coins or 90% of all altcoins never see their previous high from one bull run to the next. So it, it is just it's time to recognize, of course, that we're probably not going to go to what was the major market cap over here? Uh, what, what, this was 18 billion a couple of years ago. But uh, what I what Luna when it when it went up to 70 billion market cap, whatever the ridiculously large number was. We're probably not going to go there, but uh, a 15 billion, 18 billion market cap like we did have at one point um, uh, after, you know, some of the excitement, you know, I think all of this is possible. I think all of this uh, is not just possible. It's probable that we will see, you know, some kind of uh, wild and wild and crazy move. Uh, so, you know, I, I would be looking for one of those, you know, big moves in this bull market. Again, my prediction was 0.028 as the the final nail in the coffin for price action. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about what you think the price action is going to be. So that's it, guys. Um, a lot going on in the ecosystem. Uh, Rocket is the one that we're looking at and we're focused on right now. But, you know, let me say there should be an update in a couple days on Terra Tritium. Uh, Garuda, we're going to be talking about that very, very soon. Uh, and, and I've got some updates on Garuda. I just haven't done, uh, there's a tutorial and I'm going to take you guys through Garuda so that you guys can see it. They sent me some tokens so that I can do this for you. So it'll take a day or two before I get it ready. But, uh, you know, we'll talk about that. Then we've got Elbun, we've got the food project, we've got a secret project I can't tell you about yet. Uh, we've got Galactic Shift, uh, we've got Lunk Metrics, we've got Frag, Miata, uh, Cremation, the, the Lenny Initiative. Um, and by the way, Cremation is still a magnificent burner in this overall market. So guys, that's it for right now. Uh, we'll be talking to you about some of this other stuff coming up very, very soon. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.